The BSU football team heads into a weekend showdown with Southwest Minnesota State 0-1 due to poor special teams play and their inability to convert on offense. But they say their confidence is still high heading into Saturday. We feel confident. We all know in the locker room, we all know we should have won that game. Despite an 0-1 start, the BSU football team is still riding high into their matchup with Southwest Minnesota State on Saturday. And they should be, having not lost to the Mustangs in their last 13 games. We haven't said a word about that with the guys. It's, it's something on paper, I think, a little more for the fans to look at. But right now, we're an 0-1 football team. You know, we're not too happy with that. It's just been more of getting back on track and trying to perform better uh, with the things that we can control. But after giving up 21 points, one area the Beavers need to perform better in is their special teams play. We spent a lot of time on that, the kickoff return that we gave up, and uh, we really felt that was the difference in the game. I thought we played well for the other two facets of the game. Didn't score enough points, gave up too many, but I think we would have played better, that we would have had a better chance to win. A shoulder injury to last week's starter Ryan Shields means Jordan Hine will take over control of the BSU offense. Hine will be starting. Uh, it's too bad for Ryan and he got hurt real early in the game. And the confidence in Hine is sky high. I thought he made some really good improvements from last year to when he got in and uh, I thought he stayed in the pocket a lot better, stepped up, made some really nice throws and you know, had we caught the ball a little bit better, he would have even had some, uh, some bigger yardage totals and more points on the board. But Hine says the time for talk is over and now it's time to execute. You gotta play well limit turnovers and just finish our drives. You know, that's what we've been saying after last week's game, but enough talk, we just got to go do it. And again, BSU will look to defend that 13-game win streak against the Mustangs Saturday at 6 p.m. in Marshall. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.